YouTube. It is CC, your frugal housewife, and I am coming to y'all today because I have some things to say to my YouTube sister, Pink Nini. She may not be, she may, I may not be her YouTube sister, but she is my YouTube sister. Okay, and I want to say these things, and they are truly from the heart, and it's, I'm not. Um, trying to offend you or upset you and if I do I apologize in advance because I'm not that person but you know sometimes we have to accept what God hands us because God puts us through different tests and well, no I take that back I take that back God does not put us through different tests but he will allow us to go through different trials and tribulations to build up our spirit and to build up our strength and to build up our um, endurance on how we can handle things because because, because God wants us to be strong women of God. He wants us to be able to hold some things on our shoulders and to be able to take it and be able to fight the devil off. You know what I'm saying? And if we weak in spirit, we can't fight the devil. If we are weak in spirit, we cannot fight the devil off. So I'm, I want to say these things to you because I believe that God, you are going through some trials and tribulations right now. And I want you to know that you can make it through. You can make it through. And I know you can make it through because believe it or not, we have a lot in common. I don't know how old you are. If you stated it, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. And I don't know who my mother is either. I've never seen my mother. I don't know her. I've never seen her. Um, I could be subscribed to her on YouTube right now and wouldn't know that was her. The remote is up there at the head of the bed. This man here, y'all. See, this is a trial and a tribulation right here. But anyway, um, hope I'll be back, y'all. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. Anywho, as I was saying, um, you know, we go through trials and tribulations to build our strength up. And, you know, my one of some of my trials and tribulations I'm going to share with you to allow you to understand that you can make it through these things. And all they're going to do is make you stronger. Um, I, did, I don't know who my mother is. I was not raised by my mother. I was raised by my father. And the only mother I know, but she's not my biological mother, but that is my mother, you know what I'm saying? And both of my parents are deceased. Now my biological mother, I don't know if she's deceased or not. I have put forth some efforts to try to find her and at that at the time it didn't um, pan out like that, but hey, you know, who knows what tomorrow has to bring for me. Um, I've stated this in one of my other videos, but um, I didn't really go into it, but I'm going to uh, say it now. Two of my children passed away in a house fire. They were two and five years old. And I'm saying that to say this. They First, my children passed away, then my, fa my mother passed away, and then my father passed away. All of these things happened to me back to back. And when my children passed away, I was devastated. I, I, that took me to a level that, I mean, it just took me to a level. It was a, I went through a really hard time. I, you know, I... I went through some things. I just it just took me through hell. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. And then to lose my father and my my mother and my father back to back like all of that at one time, it was really hard on me. And it took me some years to recover. But guess what, y'all? Today I am recovered from that, and I thank God for that. I thank God for that. And you know, during that time of recovery. I went through a lot of other things, you know what I'm saying? I got married and divorced. Um, I went through some things, but I'm still standing here today. And so I'm saying that to tell you, sister, that you can stand. And I have trust issues. I've been de betrayed by different people, you know what I'm saying? Does this stop me to, from trusting? Uh, a little uh, here and there, you know what I'm saying? But God, when I'm cautious, God opens my heart up. The same people that I say I'm not going to deal with, I'm not going to trust, I'm not going to uh, let them get too close to me, God opens my heart up to those same 
clean people. And he allows me to trust. He allows me to, um, to you know, extend myself to people. So it's not me that's extending myself because my me tells me to close up. Don't let these people get close to you. And have I been hurt by some of the people? Yes, I have. But guess what? God fights my battles. I don't, uh, I don't have to do nothing. When I tell you God will fight my battles, he, God fights my battles. God will make a person come right back to me. They'll apologize. They'll need me. Something will happen. You know what I'm saying? So a lot, give this, all of this stuff to God. And as far as you saying, people are um, out to get you. If you a child of God, can't nobody get you because God got a cloak over you. He got a, a cloak of protection over you. Can't nobody get you. The only person can get you is you. And that's if you release God and he takes his cloak away from around you. You might even release him and God being God will still keep you cloaked in his uh, cloak of protection. He'll still keep his arms of protection around you. So, like I said, I'm saying that to say this, you know, sometimes I don't know what you mean by some of the things you post or some of the things you say on YouTube, but I'm going to say this for me. Um, the young lady made you the hip-hop abs, the copy of the hip-hop abs, and you posted uh, to her, thank you, now I know the other people uh was fake or phony and that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because I did tell you I would make you a copy of hip hop abs but if you you know if you watch my videos or you know somebody that watches my videos they will tell you I am not really computer savvy and my husband knows more than I do but we couldn't figure out how to do it I bought a 50 thing these are all DVDs and all of them are brand new I don't know if you can see on there but it says uh, DVD, what is that, Memorex, DVD rewrites. It's 50 of these I bought to make copies of Hip Hop Abs. I don't even know what I can do with them now because I, I took the paper off and threw it away or whatever. But I got those to make Hip Hop Abs, not only for you but some other people. So I'm going to say this again. If somebody knows how to do the copy on the um, computer, if they could inbox me and please explain it to me because I don't know how to do it. And my husband couldn't figure out how to do it. So, you know, I don't know how, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not fake and I'm not phony and you know all I have in my heart is love for any and everybody if a person says something negative about me you could trust and believe nine out of ten I'm gonna say something positive about that same person um, I don't backbite I sometimes when I say I'm gonna send stuff off and I'm saying this because you say people don't send you stuff like they said they was or whatever but sometimes when I'm supposed to send stuff off my money gets funny um, a lot of times if I say I'm gonna do something it takes me a minute to do it. Everybody doesn't know this. Some people know this, that both of my little children are in therapy. Both of them are in therapy. A lot of times I have to take both of them four days a week for therapy. And I have older children that I have one grown son. I have a grown daughter. Y'all, that's the washing machine if y'all can hear, hear it. I have a grown son that that will call me for money. I have a grown daughter that calls me for money. I have three other teenage daughters that have birthdays and back to school and all this other stuff that need money and what have you. And then, like this month, I'll, I'll be completely broke. I won't have no money for the whole month. Well, not this month, for the month of September. I got some personal things that I want to do for me and past that I will have no money for the whole month of September because I have things that have to be done with the money that I have available. So, you know, people run into snags and stuff. Maybe these people are intending to send you things, but they hit a snag. Give them a chance to send it. Don't call somebody fake or phony because they didn't send it to you. I told somebody last year in December I was supposed to send them some love mail. They have yet to get that love mail. Not because I'm not going to send it, but because I've hit snags and stuff. I've hit snags and whatnot. So everything takes time. And just sometimes that's something that God wants us to have is patience. And sometimes you have to be patient for God to work with you and to deal with you. And if the person don't send it to you, trust and believe God going to bless you with it around the back way. I'm going to 
tell you this story. I couldn't, I wanted some purple lipstick. I've been looking, looking, looking everywhere for some purple lipstick. This particular shade of purple lipstick. And I couldn't find the lipstick anywhere. So, I had ordered some wigs from Fashion Diva TV. And in the wigs, I got my purple lipstick. God is going to bless you with the things you need and want. He will bless you with the desires of your heart. And anything that you that you need, he will give it to you. In my house, in my father's house, are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I am the daughter of a king. There's nothing on this universe that I can want for that my father cannot give me. So always stand on God. Don't trust. Don't worry about man. Don't worry about woman. Don't worry about this person, that person. Because I'm telling you, I've had some small betrayals from my older kids. You know, I'm not going to even go into that, but yes, I've had some little things, some tragic little things happen between me and one of my daughters. Do I trust her through the grace of God? Yes, I do. But it is what it is. Everybody, any and everybody can betray you. You have got to trust in God that he will hold you up. And I can guarantee you, through everything you've been through, you are a stronger woman because of it. And I'm going to get off of here because I don't want to hold this ho this video hostage. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I may not be your YouTube sister, but you are my sister in God. Not just on YouTube, not just on Facebook. You are my sister in God. And with that, I want you to have, I want everybody to have a blessed day. Y'all know I love you. Bye.